everybody. Welcome to GAB Live! Okay, I hope you guys have been enjoying this beautiful day outside. Um, I actually had to come running in to do this. I was like hanging a rope. I got like ninja stuff outside. Doing a lot of stuff to, uh, to stay in shape, you know, as we can't really do gymnastics. And uh, some of you guys know I'm a competitive ninja, so I didn't get to do my training. So, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe at the end of the day today, I will run you outside and put a climbing rope up hanging out of my tree. All kinds of stuff so I can swing around my yard like a monkey. Me and my daughter both. I swear, I swear it's for her, not for me. It's for her. Uh, parents, while I still have you, before you guys tune out and step off, getting your child logged in, don't forget, we are doing Zoom classes. GAB is offering Zoom classes. These are for all of our customers. Payment is optional, so you have no reason not to do it. You know, we have a whole bunch of different classes. You can sign a kid up. Uh, it's about a 20-minute class. You get online, all your favorite teachers. We're just going to be interacting. We're going to be doing some skills, some balance, some strengthening. It's a great time. They're really fun for us. They're fun for the kids, too. Uh, and it's getting some activity, getting things moving. So make sure you check that out. We're posting the links regularly on our Facebook. Um, but it is Gymnastic Academy of Boston Acton.com. And that, uh, we've got the password. So make sure you get the password from our office uh, if you haven't already gotten it through the uh, mail distribution. But get signed up. Lots of fun. And as a matter of fact, on that note, what I'm going to work on with you guys today is something that I was uh, working on with one of my older boys. And it's a skill that transcends a bunch of different disciplines. You see it in gymnastics, you see it in dance, you see it in martial arts. Yeah, it's called a butterfly. But first, and not like the butterfly stretch where you like your knees together and, you know, not that, not that. This is way cooler. This is like, this is like if a butterfly was like a pterodactyl ninja butterfly. Like, whoa, that's what it would, but it's in a cool way. That's, you know, anyways. So, we gotta get warmed up first. So, we're gonna get our body going with some trunk twists first. So, all you kids, arms out. Let's do some big swings. Make sure there's no one or nothing around you. So, you got enough room to swing and swing. Have a lot of space to work with here. There we go. I got a decent amount of space. Works well for me. There we go. Side to side. And we're going to be doing a decent amount of leg warm-up stuff too, since this is uh, kind of a kick that we're going to be doing. So what I want you guys to do is get is getting your like, wide legs, and you take your back leg, and I'm going to make a circle swinging it in and over. So I'm going to come all the way up and around with that leg. Then I bring my other one up and around. There you go. I did Taekwondo. I don't know what kick this is. I don't know if it's a roundhouse, if it's a filet mignon kick, if it's a circly doohickey kick. I don't know. I'm just trying to get my legs warm. Big up and over. Now let's do some straight forward. Just with the same leg, kicking it up. We worked on this before, dropping the ball and kicking it, right? So kind of keep that leg high as we kick it up. Gonna feel a stretch in your hamstrings. There we go. How about the other side? High kick. And high kick. Getting the leg stretched out. Good. And then, get our heart rate up. We're gonna do some bouncing movements, okay? So what I want you to do, I'll tip this down just a little bit so you guys can see my footwork. Let's see if I one more too. There we go. Okay, so. What we're going to do is the kick of the back foot's going to kick up, and then I do a jump half turn. Kick my back foot up, jump half turn. There we go. Back and kick, back and kick. And kind of bouncing on those toes helps with your tumbling, helps with your balance. And the more of these we go, the harder our body works, the more warm we're going to get. There we go. All right. Now we're going to do some needle scales, which is like our T-touch. We all remember our lunge and our super T position. Oh, <laughs> I bent my back knee. I know you guys didn't bend your back knees. I'll try to do a better job not to. But, needle scale. It's our T-touch. Cover your ears. Basically T-touch, I'm just not bouncing on my bottom foot. So I'm putting my hands down, kicking that leg up, and then coming back down. Leg up, and coming back down. So let's do a handful of those. Come back down, and up, come back down. Let's do two more, ready? Up, come back down, and one more. Up, come back down. Now, we're gonna go to the other side. Arms up, same thing, up, come back down. Now, if this isn't your good side, you may have a little harder time with this, but really work 
I'm driving your foot up as your hands go down. Foot up, hands go down. Foot up, hands go down. Foot up, hands go down. Good, let's do one more of those. Foot up, hands go down. Good, okay. Gotta get some honey, quick some water. Woo, you guys keep a water bottle nearby? Mmm, it's helpful sometimes, especially if I've been running around drinking coffee all morning. You can probably tell I've been drinking coffee all morning. I'm probably talking like it. I get on with you guys, I'm like, I'm a squirrel, I'm all over the place. It happens. Okay, so, <laughs> balance. Now that our hearts are warm and our bodies are warm, heart rate's moving, we're gonna work on some balance with our legs, okay? Now, for this, I want you to plan that you are standing in a room and you're surrounded by boxes that are all like as high as your, as high as your waist. And there's just a space over in front of you. You lift your leg up, hold it above the boxes, and you bring it all the way around, keep it above the boxes. And we'll rotate all the way to the back. We've done this before, only instead of taking it back to the front again right away, I'm gonna go up to my T position, and I'm gonna touch the ground in my T touch, so my leg goes up even higher. Then come back up out of my T touch. Bring the leg back around. Don't touch the boxes. And down. Oh. Okay, a little wobbly, but I didn't touch the boxes. <gasps> Maybe they're full of explosives. No, even worse. Maybe they're full of ill-tempered porcupines. <gasps> and if you hit the box, he's going to come down. Ah! Ill-tempered porcupines. Don't want that. Okay, so you might even keep it down a little. So other leg ready, working our ankles. Bring that foot up. Bring it all the way over. Keep it above the box, above the boxes. Once I'm here, my arm's gonna come up. You need my T touch. And raise it back up. Oh, keep that leg up, keep that leg up. And down, okay. Whew, let's do that again. Other side, ready, up. And this, again, is a great activity for you guys to practice at home. Great thing you could do. Heck, you could be watching TV, maybe been having one of your school classes. If you're really good, you're folding laundry. Helping mom and dad fold laundry. Yeah. Good. Here we go. Bring it around. Speaking of mom and dad, we remember what this weekend is, right, everybody? Shh. It's a somebody's day. It's a... Covers day, a, a covers day. You celebrate covers. One more east side. Ready? Uh, is it Brother's Day? I work with my brother. Brother's Day, yay! No. It's a Mother's Day this weekend, right? So I hope that you are planning something special for your mom. Gonna make her breakfast in bed. Some fresh squeezed orange juice. Gonna get some flowers. Mothers love flowers. I know my mom does. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, boom. Okay. Awesome job with the balances. Now, we're going to do a progression here. Start out with our handstands. Because it's gymnastics class. We got to do handstands like all the time, right? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna tuck this in. We'll tuck and turn so you don't see my belly pop out. Bloop. And big handstand. And down you lunge. Good, let's do two more. Handstand, down you lunge. Uno mas, which is Spanish for one mas. Right? Handstand. Oh, I did it again. I get stuck in handstands sometimes. And I'm like, get, get down there. Okay. Use my other hand to pull myself down. Now, we are going to make it. Uh-oh. 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 What just happened? What just happened? What just came in here? Ah! He was out for a walk, and I forgot to close the door. So here he is. We can say hi again. Right? Say hi. Hi. This is Jackson. Okay. We are going to do our cartwheels. Cartwheels, cartwheels. Okay, turn the hands, kick it all the way over. We've been working these for like five weeks now, right? I know you're like, five weeks here? Can your dog still mix it onto the set? Shh, he is a clever dog. <laughs> okay, big car wheels. 
Again, I'm bending my knees so I don't kick the vents here. Let's do two more of the cartwheels. Big reach, cartwheel and kick. Good. One more. Reach and kick. Awesome. Okay, now there's a skill I taught you guys, a tricking skill for parkour and tricking. I taught this one a few weeks ago, and we're going to revisit it because it's going to help us for our butterfly, okay? And that skill is called a swipe. And it's basically a cartwheel where instead of going our feet over our head, we swing our feet around. This skill helps us go into twisting skills. So it's almost like a cartwheel where instead of pretending I'm cartwheeling between two pieces of glass and I gotta go straight, for this cartwheel, there's a low piece of glass. So I have to reach and do a circular motion. As a matter of fact, everybody where you are, just go ahead and get, get squat down right here, okay? Because there's a giant piano in front of you. And you gotta play all the notes, ready? We're gonna start in the center, go, whoa, on that side, and whoa, bring it back. Feel that? Really lean forward. Whoa! And whoa! Feel that movement going out and around? Swing in your body. And the longer and further your arms out, the further they swing, right? Or maybe you're getting pizza sauce in the world's biggest pizza. Like, whoa! Lots of pizza sauce. Lots of mozzarella. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. I can't. I can't. <laughs> okay. I'm good, I'm good, getting old, it's cool, it's fine. Okay, so for the swipe, I'm not putting my hands right in front of my feet, I'm putting my hands front and to the left, and I swing my feet around. So go, swipe, boom, and then I come up. And that circular motion gets your body twisting. So let's try a little bit of that, let's try, swipe, boom. And you may find you come up, kind of twisting your body. Let's try two more of those. Look at your foot. Make an L that goes, an L. Well, it would be an L that's upside down and backwards. Because they can go up and over. And swipe. Let's see, do one more, ready? Reach, kick, awesome. So for our butterfly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same kind of movement without using our hands. And if you do this really well, it's almost like your whole body's in midair, whoa, and then stepping down. There's a couple easy parts of the motion though. So if I break it down first, all I want us to do is get in our lunge, ready? And lift up your back leg so we're in that T position, okay? For this, you can, don't touch wall like I just did. You didn't see that. You put your hands forward and side, because when we throw this, our hands are gonna be going in. But what I'm gonna do for the skills, I'm gonna jump from my T, all I want you to do is jump feet. This one's going to go down, and my other one's going to come right back up. So go, jump, boom. Right, and you do it right, right, and jump. Okay. Now, when I do that same jump, okay, I'm going to swing my body around a little bit. So if you stood like this and just dropped and kicked up, that's totally fine. Again, really try to keep your chest up. Pretend like a bow and arrow and that string goes from your head to your ankle, and somebody's Robin Hood's pulling it, and you're like, whoa, you're the bow, okay? You're the bow. Good. So this time, instead of dropping my foot right where it is, I'm gonna jump sideways a little bit, kind of that circular motion. Maybe, uh, maybe I wanna put this foot right over there where my shoulder would be. So I'm gonna kind of jump sideways and kick the other one up. See that? Jump sideways and kick the other one up. You remember when we were warming up and we were doing our balance skill, we were like, Whoa. Okay, he had lint in his hair, you know. We had the boxes full of, what were they full of? Was it ill-tempered sea bass? No. Uh, Henri chinchillas? No. Oh, explosive? Porcupines. Pretend you got your box with a porcupine right there in front of you, and your foot is going to come up, and you got to jump right over that box. Do you think you can do it? Do you think you can jump over the box of porcupines without making them angry or waking them up? Let's see, try a couple times. Good. Okay. 
You guys look like you're getting confident. You look like you're getting secure. So we're going to take a little more wind up into this. We're going to give ourselves some more power and run into it, which will give you a better ability to get up higher, get more amplitude. You guys know what amplitude is? You guys like ample. Ample means a lot of something. And tude is like when you're talking back to mom and dad, like, don't you give me no attitude. No, actually, no, it's something totally different. Uh, amplitude is height. It's when you're like getting up in the air. So we're going to try to get our bodies up as we do this. So remember our circular motion? Whoa. We're going to try to throw a circular motion into this. Because when I do it, ideally my whole body is going to fly up in the air. My whole body is going to be like, like flying starfish. Like, whee! Before I step my other foot down. Your goal is to have both feet in midair like you're swinging. Here's a box of porcupines. Both feet in midair. Whee! And then you step down. There's a really cool skill called the B twist where you kick up, do a full twist, and then step down. But you gotta sign up for our dance classes for that. So, here we go. Get in your circle, and we go. Whoa! Oh, how was it? Did you guys do it? I'm sure mine wasn't that good. I kind of bent my knee. I'm gonna try again. Let's try again. Ready? Swing back and forth a couple times. And, whoa! Did you stay on your feet for the landing? I bet you did. The tendency is to kind of tuck your chin down or to stand up too much. You're like, nah, I mean, ice skating, you'll start working on it that way, I'm sure, but we really want to work on getting your chin up and getting your heel up, circling it around. Woo! So let me see you guys try a few more of those. Ready? Back up and sideways into it. If you look on the ground where you start and where you finish, if I'm jumping from my left leg, I should be finishing forward and kind of to the left over there. If I'm jumping off my right leg, I'm gonna finish forward to my right, okay? So kind of make like an arch and look at that's where you should land. Arch, I should land over there. Arch, I should land over there. See if that's where you're landing. Let's try it again, ready? And up, boom, boom! How's it feel? Feel like a good movement? Kind of feel where you're at? Awesome. Well, that looks like it's a wrap for the day, you guys. So, hey, it was great having you guys. Thanks for coming. Uh, looks like we've got awesome weather for this weekend. It's been so awesome. Um, get your snow gear out. A lot of stuff's been pulled back since last I heard. We might get some snow. I told you guys I was going to show you something. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Let's see. You guys ready for an adventure? You ready for adventure? Let me take you guys. We're gonna go out through my side door of my studio. I hope all my adoring fans aren't out here like, ah, we love you. Okay, no, they're not, it's good. It's quite, you know, six feet into quarantine and all that, that's the really good part. So, you guys get to see, remember, sign up for Zoom classes and I'm back. I lost it, I'm back again, okay. All right, I think, okay, I'm back, it was bad bad connection. I don't know if you guys can tell back. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, ninja holds. Oh, I was going to go up and climb on them, but it looks like I'm going to lose you guys if I do that. So that's, that's how I'm getting my workouts outside. Now it's getting warm out. Um, good news is you guys can do a lot of this stuff we're working. You guys can go outside, you do your cartwheels, your round offs, your somersaults, uh, work them in the grass, work them safely. And Awesome. Thanks for joining us today, you guys. Again, sign up for the Zoom classes. I want to get some of you in my Zoom classes. I miss you guys, okay? Have a go one. Bye. Bye.